Today I thought we'd return back to Leighton Lakes out here and search for some good bulls. Now last time we were out here, we did get a couple of nice 300 plus, but we never really did get a trophy. All right, we just got to our first location here and we got a couple of bulls right next to us here, about 100 yards out. There's two level threes right there, but there's another herd of elk over here as well at about 180. And so I think what we're gonna do is put out a call. We'll try and get this bull to come into range for a shot with the recurve bow. Then after that, we should be able to go over here and take down this bull as well. So let's bust out the out color and see if we can't get this bull to come into range. Ooh, that's what we like to hear right there. That's what we like to hear. All right, here they come. So we got the 700s. We should have the 700s. Now we have the 700s already. And now we just got to get this bull to come into range. All right. So this bull is actually working his way a little bit closer. He's somewhere around the 55 yard mark there. I know it says 60, but this thing's about five yards off. So we got to remember that when we go for a shot next time. So that bull there is about 65. This bull's getting pretty close. That bull's 40. 35. We're probably gonna have to go for about a 50 yard shot on this bull here. Uh, yeah, because if this bull gets too close, he's gonna spook. And we don't want that. So we're looking at about 35 right there on that back bull. Incredible shot, smoked him. And we could actually, oh my God. It looked like we drilled that bull, that second bull perfectly, but I guess not quite. And now we're gonna go over here and try and take down this nice bull. About 160 yards out right there. All right, so we gotta wait for a better angle. I'm kind of surprised that he's already moving. Well, we could try and put out a call. It does work. I was wondering why they were moving around over there. And that is because they were actually reacting to our call. But he's about 160 right there. And that is a shot. Yep, we got him. Not a hard shot, but we definitely got him. He's going to pile up right over there. He's down. There we go. So two bulls down out of our first location. Well, technically that could have almost been three because we did drill that second bull on the run. It's just that we didn't quite connect on the vitals. But here's a bull that we took down right here at about 25 yards out. Let's take a look. Okay, not 25 yards. He was actually 44 yards, which I knew he was about 36 probably. Um, but it's saying 44 yards and our shot ended up connecting quite nicely right through the lung, liver, and stomach there and a 263. All right, here's our second bull down that we took with a 300 Magnum and it's gonna be a gold 277. Hold off a nice left lung shot there, 160 yards. Looks like we just pulled off a tad bit to the right side of the heart there, but still made a pretty good left lung shot and got ourselves a gold bull. Uh, you guys, I believe we're getting approached by a bunch of elk here. Oh yeah, I see them. Right there. Oh my god. So we're actually going to try and tuck underneath this tree here for some cover. And just kind of see what happens. I don't know. There might be another good bull around here. I know there's for sure one bull. But there might be another one. Either way, let's get under this tree. And we actually have cover here. Oh, there's the bull right there. As a matter of fact, 20 yards out. Come on, draw back, draw back. And we smoked him. Yep, he's going down. We got him. All right, that was perfect. We just barely had any time to get set up here, and our bull happened to walk right to us. So we got him. But let's take a look over here. We got a cow out there. He wasn't very impressive, but he was definitely another bull. And it's going to be a 17-yard right lung shot there. And we went right below the heart. But 186. 
Well, that's not really a site that I'm super pumped about because we were here a couple weeks ago and we took down two max weight bulls that were both over 320 score. And now we have a couple of threes out here. In fact, they're almost all level threes and they're not very impressive ones either. All right, so we could definitely go for a shot on this bull here at 260. And we could try for a heart shot on that one as well as that one there. It's all going to be kind of trying to figure out which one to go for first. And that's going to be the key. Also 260. We're going to have a little bit of drop. So we're going to try and ease up just a touch closer. What do we got out there? That's a cow elk. And what appears to be a couple more cows as well. But here we're looking at 250. We shouldn't have any drop at all. And so... Holy, that second bull bolted on me. Got him there a couple times. He's going down. That bull is definitely going down. Well, we definitely got one. And I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> I'd say we probably hit that same bull three times. Yep, that's most likely what happened. All right, here's the bull that we got. Blood rate medium. I believe we probably did get a single lung. And then finished him off. Watch. Yep. It's the exact same bull. We got pretty robbed on that shot. Not going to lie about that. We literally went straight through the heart and lung. And it didn't count with the 300 magnum. Like, are you kidding me? First off, that should have been double lung and heart. And we hit only a single lung on that shot. Second shot, we got him on the run at 280 and got intestine as well. Which helped take him down quicker, but... Yeah, that first shot, most certainly, should have been a hard shot. I figured there'd have to be a bull down there somewhere. We jump one up right there, 150 yards. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe I should just stick to the recurve bow. Oh, what do we got down there? Again, can I hit the broadside of a freaking barn? I just saw a bull from quite a ways away and he's actually right there, but I don't know if there's going to be any more in this herd. So if there is, it'd be kind of cool to know. And if there is, we'll just take him down with AR-308 on the run. But I really don't feel like trying to work our way all the way close and then ended up not finding a decent bull and it's only just one bull. Oh my God, that's a nice bull. Holy, that's a giant bull. We definitely... Should have probably taken our time. <laughs> oh man, that's a huge, huge bull. Wow. Just my luck. What an incredible bull. <gasps> yep. We deserve that. Whoa, whoa, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Perfect opportunity, perfect opportunity. Oh my God, there's our big bull. Look at the size of that thing. Holy. 313 to 385. I bet that bull is probably at 340 plus. What a heck of a bull. He's crossing right there. Now, there's a good chance that bull might actually come back. And if he does, we could tuck in over here and wait for that bull to come back into range. Let's watch. Holy, what a rack. Where are they going to go? I honestly have no clue. But I can't imagine they're going to go too much further. They already ran 350 yards. And they're still running. All three of them are still running. Holy. Okay. Looks like they slowed up. Mm, maybe not. Come on, come on, come on. What are they going to do? There's one more there. Oh, I just caught eyes on him right over there. And that was it. So, yeah, they went a pretty good ways out there. 
Last place I saw him is like right here. In fact, exactly right there. But they do drink right here. And the wind is blowing right in our face. So they should have no reason to not want to come back here and finish drinking. You know, I can't believe it. But it honestly appears like these bulls are not going to come back. And I don't know why. They got a little bit spooked, but that was it. Oh, what do we got out there? Decent black tail buck bedded out there. We're going to hang tight just a tad bit longer in hopes that that bull shows himself. But if he doesn't, we'll go for a shot on that buck down over there. And then we'll track down the old bull. Well, it appears our bull is not showing himself. So we're going to be going for a shot on this buck here at about 350 yards. Money. Dropped him right on the spot. Another good buck there. And another good buck there. Ooh, he's hit. Right behind him. Got him. That shot was money. Perfect, perfect shot. And it's going to be uh, 135 gold. So that is going to be a nice gold. Got a double lung shot at 350 yards. Very nice shot and a really nice gold black tail. All right. Yeah, I told you that second shot was money. 400 yards on the walk. And we smoked him. Nice right lung shot. All right, guys, we've been tracking this bull for a pretty good ways, and I think we just found him. Yeah, that's him. There he is right there, 100 yards out, coming in pretty fast. Boy, I don't know if we're going to get a shot on this thing. Holy, look at that bull. Let's try and call. And slowly work our way over there. All right, so he's in these trees right in front of us here. He just went underneath. Oh, there he is. Dude, he could care less about this call. He could absolutely care less. We're going for a shot. Open sights with the 300 Magnum. And he has smoked. I believe he's already piled up right there. There we go. It was about 80 yards out, so it's a little too far to take down with the recurve. And plus, he was down below us, so you have to be able to compensate for that too. And that just would have been way difficult. So we just decided to go open sights with the 300 Magnum. And it worked out perfectly. Look at the size of the rack on this bull. Well, there he is, right there. Boy, is that one impressive looking bull. Wow. Let's take a sweet picture of him. I mean, the fact that we found him all the way up on top of this mountain here is pretty cool. We tracked him a long ways, but in the end, it was definitely worth it. All right, let's get the picture and let's pick him up. Oh my God, is that thing huge? 370. Holy jeez, that's huge. That's got to be probably like our third biggest bull of all time that didn't make diamonds. I mean, yeah, we have three diamonds, but our biggest goal that didn't make diamond that we didn't really anticipate on making diamond, like this has to be top three. I can't believe how big that bull is. 370.74. He only missed diamond by 10 points. We took him at 69 yards and made a spine double lung shot with a 300 Magnum open sights that was incredible there he lays right there our biggest bull of the hunt i mean i knew he was big but i had absolutely no clue he was anywhere near 370 but he was and we got him
And that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.